There are many topics in chemistry, and they also connect with many of the current topics in chemistry. And I think it's essential that you bring into the classroom some of these current modern topics so they can see where some of the materials that students have been studying in class have an understanding. So let's show you an example. I have a volunteer up here. Ellen? Yes. Wave to the audience. Okay. Ellen, what I'm going to do is to show a deck of cards. And take a look. Does it look like an ordinary deck of cards? Yes, it does. You see all kinds of cards, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see all kinds of faces, right? Yes. What I'm going to do is tell you where to stop. Oh, that wouldn't be, that'd be cheating, wouldn't it? Yes. So how about if you choose some place to stop anywhere you want in this deck of cards, okay? okay. So here's what I want you to do. Just tell me where to stop somewhere, anywhere you want, before I get to the bottom. Okay, stop. Right there? Yeah. Okay, here, take a look at that card. Don't show me, but show the audience. I don't need to see the card because I have a cohort. Willie, the wire. So all you have to do is don't tell me, but show Willie. Oops, show his head. Okay, so there, show the head. Did Willie see the card? Yeah. Okay, Willie, did you see the card? Okay, <laughs> all right, thank you. Willie, all you have to do now is tell me what the card is. Hmm, Ellen, Willie's being kind of obstinate. Do you think we should force Willie to tell us? Sure. Okay, Willie, your last chance before we force it out of you. All right, folks, we're going to have to electrocute Willie. Now, now, don't worry. Willie will not be harmed in this effect. This demonstration has been approved by the SPCA, the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Alloys. Willie will not be harmed in this effect. So, Ellen, I'm going to put the wire, Willie, right there. And I'm going to hook Willie up to a 9-volt battery. Don't worry, Willie will not be harmed, okay? okay. Last chance, Willie. All right. Hmm. Ellen? I didn't see your card. You didn't show me. What was your card? Three of hearts. Well, it's a match. Let's give Ellen a big round of applause, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Ellen. I appreciate that. Do I have your attention? I think that's what you have to do with your students. You have to get the concepts across, but you have to do it in an interesting way. So now, you might say, what does this have to do with chemistry? A lot. This is a magic effect. I am also a professional magician. I forced her to pick this card. It was an ordinary deck. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to do that, but I will tell you what you have here. This is a wire, and it has a memory. This is an actual memory wire. If you want to think about it, it's called N-I-T-I-N-O-L, nitinol. It's a nickel-titanium mixture of about 50 percent of each and it has a solid to solid phase change it's going to change from one crystalline structure to another crystalline structure what you can do with that is you can take this and I can flatten it out again and I have distorted its crystalline structure a little you can't see that particular shape anymore. But what I can do is I could use the battery, the 9-volt battery, where I have ohmic heating, O-H-M-I-C heating, which will heat the wire above its transition temperature to get to where I want to, or you could use hot water. And so I'm going to take this, and as I dip it into the wire, the wire into the water, watch what happens. 
You can see just by getting to the heat. The heat can do that also. Now, that's one possible way to do it, but let's talk about where some of this can be applied. I have here, it's a used pair, but one of my old glasses, you've possibly seen these before, where they had the flexible type and they will restore themselves. Here's the rest of the glasses. I was using these as demonstrations for many, many, many times, and then they finally had a crystalline fracture, and they broke. But you find these in the ter particular types of glasses. Where it's really relevant is where the students have braces. They use this in a lot of the brace material, that the warmth of the mouth is going to be sufficient to keep the teeth trying to align themselves into that new structure. Or they might have in certain surgeries like arm surgery, Oral Hershiser, a former pitcher, had a certain material inserted where he was able to, with that memory wire, help restore situations. Doctors use it quite a bit. Flynn does sell this device called a thermobile. And what you could do is put that in the hot water. And as you put in the hot water, it's trying to restore its, restore its shape, and it'll just keep going as long as the temperature of the water is above the transition temperature. So, beautiful little toy. Let me quickly talk about what we did to get the card shape. Now, this is not a card shape, but through the Institute of Chemical Education, what you can do is buy a certain type of wire like this, and it forms the word ice. And this is the template they use. They have a bunch of pegs where they take this wire and they formed it around here and they have annealed it into that particular shape. And I'm going to demonstrate that in just a minute with some other wire, but they've formed it into this particular shape. And so any time you put it in warmer water, it will form that particular ice situation and you can make your own demonstration. In France, artists have... This is an actual statue in France, good, where at one time of the day with a particular temperature, you have a woman kneeling with a child. But as the temperature changes throughout the day, it's made of this nickel titanium mixture. And you're going to see the mother elevate, raising the child. And so it's had an artistic use to it. Both of these activities are in a phenomenal book. It's called Teaching General Chemistry, a Materials Science Companion by Arthur Ellis and other authors. But once again, I think it's important that you get your students recognizing a lot of the professions out there. And material science is one of those where you're looking at some of these new materials. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, I have a sample of wire. If you put it in the warm water, Not much happens, and that's what it's supposed to be. What we can do is we can force it into a brand new shape, and I think this is what's nice about an activity like this. I've got a candle flame here, and I'm going to heat it, and right now, this will not form any particular shape. It's pretty much straight, but if I have two heavy-duty pliers, we can force it into a new shape. And I'm going to maybe just make a little circle to make it easy. This is an outstanding activity to do with your students because it really shows phenomenal molecular strength. And as you want to force this to remember the new crystalline structure, I have got it in the structure that I want and then what I'm going to do is gently heat it in a candle flame. And as that is being heated, what's happening is it is remembering 
this structure. And folks, I'm squeezing very hard because it's trying to restore to the original shape, and I'm forcing it into a brand new shape. What you want to do is to get this into the new shape in a candle flame. And then you want to hold it in that shape and let it cool to room temperature. And if you can see, there's a little coating on there. And it takes a little while to cool it. And then what I'm going to do is quench it in some cold water. And let's see what happens. Now, we straighten it out. What has happened, this is in one crystalline form. But what's going to happen is when I put it in the hot water that exceeds its transition temperature, it's going to switch to a different crystalline form. I think we're able to see that. Where it just twisted back into its new form that I annealed it in. And I do this with activities with my students where they'll take some of this wire and they'll try some very intricate shapes. And it's real interesting that they're trying to hold these with the pliers and it is just so resistive to getting that new shape that unless they hold it super tight, it's not going to keep that new shape. And it shows, even on a small, small scale with wires, how hard it is and the intense strength of molecular structure. So, do keep current and make sure you talk about a lot of the new topics because it is a great connection and shows students connections with a lot of the things that they're dealing with, like braces and other issues. Thank you.